Hey, welcome to worshiptutorials.com. Hello. In this video, uh, we are going to give you our initial review of these all clear, custom, in ear monitors. We each have a different set. Mm. We're going to tell you what we think. Right. This is video two in the series uh, sponsored by Allclear. Thank you, Allclear. In our initial video, which is linked below, you can see us go through the process of picking out which monitors we want, and then we went and got molds made uh, of our ears, which you have to do to get custom made in your monitors. So we'll start with you, Bradford. Uh, you went with the Spire six driver model, which Allclear tells us is their most popular in your model. I can see why. Can and I start with this case first? You can, yes. So this is the case that you get with it. The the Hady millennial made. in me appreciates the handmade leather case. I actually like the case too. Haiti made, it's a... Uh, it smells good. Yeah, it's it kind of a like partnership all Claire has with yeah. the Haiti uh, folks that make these to help kind of support their community and their yeah. Uh, yeah. Very their cool. economy, which is very cool. Very cool. And the case, the case is just, I mean, it just looks good. So I am, I'm not like Brian and Brian Fuller. Um, these guys do a lot of a lot of studio stuff. I tend to live more in the live world, mm -hmm. like m more often. If I do stuff at home, I don't need to be as accurate, and so I'm not I'm not as worried about sound being like perfectly flat. I want to feel stuff. I want a great experience when I use these because I'm going to use these the most on stage. That's mm -hmm. more what I'm going to do because I when I am D or just when I'm leading worship, I want a little more low end mm -hmm. because I want kind of a little more of a submersive experience. I, I love these. Lots of great low end. It's not obtrusive. It's not like all you hear is that. Like I also have mm -hmm. a pair of beats mm. and like talk I use Talk about those, low end. Yeah. Talk yeah. about low end. But I <laughs> like these because it's, it's a very, um, I wouldn't say it's even sound completely, but like yeah. the, there's extra low end, but nothing is harsh. Like mm. the, the bright stuff is bright in all the right ways. It's smooth. It's not crispy. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't want that. Um, and just the whole thing, like my favorite thing and that I, uh, the whole day mm -hmm. when I used them on Sunday was when our drummer came out of a break, you know, did a fill, ended the break, and then kind of like swelled on the cymbals. And like just to hear that crispiness, mm. like and, and the smooth, uh, it feels weird to say smooth crispiness, but the smooth yeah, crispiness of the cymbals as they were swelling. And I, that was like the, that point in the day, I was like, oh my gosh, these are amazing. So I think we would all agree that we love our fit. That's kind of a more general thing. That's not going to really yes. vary on what model we They get. nailed it. Yeah, perfect. The seal is great. I actually, I expressed this. Um, to these guys earlier before we were shooting the video, I got home on Sunday mm -hmm. and like it dawned on me. I was just sitting at home and I was like, just thinking about using these because like mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I was like, my head and my ears, ears aren't tired. like they're not tired. Like yeah. I don't feel, That's I don't feel like, like a muddy, hazy yeah. feeling that I normally get. Usually you get that. And what ends up happening is, and this is just like in your practice in general, I think a lot of people, as the day goes on, you end up turning your ears up more because yeah. your ears get tired and try yeah. to compensate. Yeah. But like my ears at the end of the day, and this this I think is like a general statement about all clears in ears mm -hmm. and the fit and all that. Like I don't think that necessarily is going to be restricted to whatever model you get. Getting a good set of in ears with a good fit mm -hmm. is going to help with ear fatigue and overall. Like I felt, I felt not as groggy and weird and gross on Sunday in a way that I know was directly attributed to yeah. my in ear usage. So. These are great, I would say, for really anybody. It is their most popular model, mm -hmm. they said, which makes sense. But maybe if you hop around instruments mm -hmm. um, yeah. and you want to be able to hear everything, I would say there is a little more... What's interesting on the site, it says extra highs and lows. It's kind mm -hmm. of what's hyped. But what's interesting is there's it's, it feels to me like it's like high mids. And right. so it's, it's a little odd when you listen to music, but live... Yeah. It translates better for someone who's a vocalist and a guitarist because I felt I thought they sounded amazing for monitors, which is what they're for, right? Yeah. And so it let me hear everything very well. I heard guitars the best I've ever heard them. Um, I heard two guitars in stereo on top of one another, and I could tell who was playing yeah. what. I could tell yeah, who it details. was. That's yeah. a big deal. Yeah. yeah. So for an MD or a worship leader, I, you both need to be able to hear a lot so you can kind of hear what's happening in the room mm -hmm. and hear what your band's doing. As an MD, as a worship leader, as a guitar player... This is what I would recommend. Brian's got mm. both of these guys have sets that are r rather different. Your prob yeah. your two we'll sets are probably more similar to each other than they are to mine. Yeah, and I think these are great for live. I highly recommend them. I got the uh, Electros, which are a six driver model, new technology with the electrostatic driver. 
I don't know what all goes into that, but what all Claire says science. is that it is according to Brad, they science. just boost the high end. <laughs> what all Claire <laughs> says, they, they just tweak a tweeter and you're that's, it, that's it. It's the same kind of driver that true. is used in like the over the big over the ear cans, like the mon, you know, the studio monitoring headphones. It's the first time that that tech has been available in an in ear monitor like this without an external power supply is, mm. what, is what they say. And so the the payoff is more clarity and headroom and just an overall better experience. These are a reference style monitor, so they're flat frequency response. First of all, I, my initial impression with these, I've used them, Brad and I used them on a Sunday. I used them additionally at a rehearsal. I've used them for casual listening. I've used them to dial in some guitar presets. I really love the way they sound. One thing that they remind me of is uh, I feel it feels more like monitoring through like studio monitors. Mm -hmm. So Fuller and I both use a set of Dynaudio uh, studio monitors. They, we love them. They sound uh, amazing. These too good. These yeah too good. I have a set of those PC monitors that come with your computer <laughs> back in '98. They would send you free. Space. I have a lot That's of those. Nineteen ninety nine. Two point one. Get the sub too. These remind me of the Dynaudios. Oh, nice. Personally. Which, High quality monitors. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and, and just the, like, both, like, the accuracy that you get and just the overall listening experience. So I've used a number of in your monitors in the past. I've used uh, Shure SE215s. Ooh. I've used uh, 60, 1964 uh, V6 stage, the six driver model. Um, and I've used these, and I've, I've tried out stuff from, like, KZ... Uh, I have a set of the waves in years. Uh, we did a review of those. To me, these are these are by far the most expensive compared to the other ones. Like this is a, a higher end offerings, you know. Um, so you would hope that they sound better, and they do. Um, they sound a lot uh, fuller, a lot more clarity. These are like surprisingly warm to me. I don't know if you guys, when you guys heard them, if you got that mm -hmm. from them. But there's a lot of warmth, but still a lot of clarity and a lot of detail. And I experienced the same thing you did uh, on Sunday. I could hear everything. Yeah. Um, and the separation was really great. Like I could pick out individual stuff a lot more easily than I could with any other monitor I've ever used. And at the end of the day, my ears, sometimes at the end of the day on a Sunday, and if you are, you know, you do this on Sundays as well, um, or if you play in a band and use monitoring, at the end of your set or the show or the services, it's like your ears just feel dull yeah. and like it's just like you're in a fog yeah, and it's ear fatigue that's ear fatigue i did not experience that with these at all yeah and i didn't find myself like you said turning them up mm -hmm. over time uh i th it was a really really positive experience for me so um i am very very happy with the electros i would highly recommend them and who yeah. would you say those are more geared towards well so they most likely these Their are the site says these one are thing, flat but, right yeah. they're flat and I would agree with that because uh, when I listened to yours, spoiler, I heard a lot more lows and highs. It was like the like the bass which I was loved bumping, you know. Which I loved and uh, <clears throat> more presence in the high end. But I wanted something flat. So I do a lot of audio production here, horse tutorials. I build presets a lot for Helix, Axe Effects, Kemper, and stuff like that with headphones on, so my family doesn't have to listen to it, mm. you know. At very Playing a G chord over and over Huge again volumes. for yes. two hours. Exactly. And so there. I wanted something act that would accurately represent what I what the source material was. And these I feel do that uh, really better than a lot of other monitors that I've used. So mm. um, I like them too because I've become so accustomed to listening to like studio monitors. Like just music, I listen to those. I've become accustomed to that flat-ish Type of a thing. In fact, I have a set of Biodynamic uh, DT 1990s, which are very high end studio over the ear headphones, but they're really hyped in the high. They're really mm. bright, and I actually don't like listening to them mm. because they feel um, they just feel too bright. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it hurts, like bright. So uh, I I've become accustomed to that flat thing, and I like it. My brain is like this is what music is supposed to sound like, I guess. So I like these, but if you um, if you're not used to that, these might, these might feel like you're like, where's the low and the high? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny. That's a great transition. Cause Brad and I were just talking about this. If you 
for, for 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 one, these are the most expensive in ears I've ever had. Yeah. As far as and like, your first customs, right? These are also my first actual custom fitted in ears, and I've been gosh, I've been a worship leader for fifteen years. So my experience with these are are been a really interesting one. Um, I will say this: so uh, the first time I ever heard music, Brad and I were talking about this. I, I heard a Maroon Five album in my uncle's mastering studio. And you it, mean it, heard it like her? Like, I, I was sitting there and I heard an, the album. Fuller's uncle, by the way, is a Grammy Award winning? Yeah, yeah, mastering engineer. Mastering in engineer. In Miami, Flor- Florida, Fuller Sound. And I remember it, it, it was an experience that I'd never experienced. Mm-hmm. Almost awkward. Hmm. Because, so this is what music really sounds <laughs> like. Because so every you say when you first heard music, you mean like really heard Yeah, that. like this was state of the art, mm-hmm. you know hundreds of thousands of dollars of equipment and gear in the rooms treated perfectly. Yeah. So it took me a while mm. to get used to that. Yeah. And the reason I say this is because if all you've been using is like low end stuff, yeah. like especially the with ones that low end. with the com- the ones that come with like the Sennheiser wirelesses yeah. and stuff that are or $80 whatever, if you've never used really high end stuff, you may actually be slightly disappointed the first time you listen because you're hearing it in a completely different way now. Mm -hmm. And your first reaction might be, oh my gosh, I can't hear the low, it sounds terrible. But it takes your ears a while to adjust to really quality Mm. audio. Like Brad was saying, part of the quality is the fact that he led worship for six hours and he yeah. can still hear, yeah. you know, and, and it's that's like, big, so there's a, a lot that goes into the audio experience, which is why if you're considering, cause you know, most people are going to go, why should I spend $800 on a set of in-ears when I yeah. get a set for 60 bucks? Well, here's why. Yeah. Because I could buy three I have, sets and have backups <laughs> and yeah, yeah. I have the $60 Valid. set. I have a, I have a five driver KZ set that yeah. I've used. And I have them too, right? It's a completely different listening experience. Yeah. Um, and so with these, I have the studio quad, the quad fours, the studio quads, studio quads, right? And I got these specifically because I do a lot of studio mixing. I mix all day long. I mm-hmm. spend a, I spend more time mixing than I do on stage. So I wanted something flat. So when I first put these in, and I have flat references and I have flat stuff. So when I first put put these in, I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. So what I got was definitely a flat experience, like yeah, you know, and I and I and at night I listen in my iPods, so I got a lot of bass and a lot of. So it took me a while to adjust my ears. Yeah. So I recommend whenever you buy something high end like this, that you give it time, yeah. that you put them in, that you and the fit was perfect, just like you guys, the fit was perfect. Yeah. Put them in, listen to a ton of music, and let your ears start adjusting. Because what's going to happen is what you think might not be what you're used to hearing after you listen to the high end stuff for a while and you go back to the cheap stuff, oh, that's when you're like, yikes. Yeah. It's brittle. You, yeah. And I mean, I harsh and, yeah. it's super bright and your ears are bringing like in stuff. so much bass. It's muddy. It's yeah. like, what, how did I ever, how did I ever do this? Yeah. So you do need to, you know, cause I know what it's like to spend a thousand dollars on something and then be like, well, this isn't what I thought it was going to, you know, yeah. you got to give yourself time to adapt. And once you do that, what I found with these, and if you're a studio guy, you're going to love what I'm about to say. Um, these actually remind me a lot of the NS10s, yep. the Yamaha NS10s, mm-hmm. which is... You have some. I do have some. I don't use them anymore, but because uh, they're like the tweeters ripped, and I mean, they've, I've had them for like 25 years. Because you went to Dyn Audio. <laughs> yeah, well, that too. Go so, to Dyn Audio, by the way. They're awesome. The reason people love the NS10s, I mean, if you go to any professional studio in the world, they're probably going to have a set of NS10s yeah. for their near fields. The NS10s are known as probably the most flat studio monitors and the reason they're flat so it's a little harder to mix on them but when you're done mm. your mix is going to sound amazing on anywhere like you play all it kinds of anywhere stuff. you play it and so what i found with these is these actually were reminiscent to me of listening to ns10s so as a mixing engineer i'm getting a sound that is straight flat Nothing is hyped. Nothing is complimentary. If the kick doesn't sound good, it's not going to sound good in here. (laughs) You know, if the guitars don't sound good, they're not going to sound good in here. Mm -hmm. Because you get, and you mentioned this, there's a lot of detail in these that I really love. So I was listening to some John Mayer stuff, and I noticed specifically the reverbs. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I could hear reverb things happening. I could hear some guitars that were, it felt like they were in different places. So... 
very accurate, not hyped at all. I would not recommend these for a guy like Brad that wants to feel the kick in the bass. Now, I will say this. If you have a decent monitoring system, you can probably drop an EQ on them. I know, yeah, like, yeah. with our system, you can actually add an EQ and boost the mids. If, so you can kind of artificially hype them yourself. But if you're a worship leader on stage, these are probably not the ones for you. But if you mm -hmm. want a true reference that can give you accurate mixes, these are great. Uh, the detail is really fine. And um, they're loud, yeah, a lot of super headroom. loud. I was reading on the the Al Claire website where there's different levels of headroom. Headroom yeah. was definitely not the issue. I had yeah. to actually turn these down because yeah. uh, compared to the ones I were using, so Same. Uh, super high quality. But just remember, anytime you buy custom in ears, high quality like this, it's gonna take you a while to get used to what they're supposed to sound like. Yeah. And then once you get used to it, you can never go back to the cheap That's stuff. That's true. <laughs> Okay, so we each tried each other's. What did you guys think of the Electros? Those have definitely more low end than these. Okay. Yeah, just right. Well, you know, now granted, those are your in-ear molds, so I was having to, you know, kind of hold yeah. them in. But I feel at the bit, these have a little bit more mid-rangey. Those were a little, felt like a little just dip, lower dip in the mid-range. Yeah. Uh, these... And Brad's definitely, you know, sounded like yeah. music you want to just listen to music. Brad's in. were like, compared to these two... Yours had boosted lows and highs. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, which again, I, I, I you said wanted. That, I said this and earlier. They sounded I wanted great. that. Yeah. And most musicians would probably want what yes. you have. And yeah. I, that's what's about. like. This, that's their most popular model, and I could see yeah. why. It gives you a little bit mm -hmm. of everything. You're not gonna get. It's not crazy go nuts. But mm -hmm. when I listen to that set, the it it definitely felt a little more even. I felt like. Mine gave me a little more low end. It was almost like a combination of the two. Brian's or Fuller's had a little more uh, mids. Yours had a little more low end. It was almost like a kind of a combination of the two sets. So yeah. but yours your, have more lows than these. Yeah, for more, sure. More lows. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but like Especially I like could the hear, forty to a hundred, where the kick and the bass. This is why you know this guy's. Yeah, weird. I was about to say I don't. The kick drum numbers. is where you're really gonna feel the difference. Yes. You, yeah. It's weird to think that like they're in your ears and the like the level of volume that comes out of them is not much because they're oh so gosh you could kill your ears if you cry right? too loud but yeah. like when the when the kick hits you feel yeah. like it yeah. feels feel like it. your whole it's, body it's feels interesting like. it yeah. is a really wild experience yeah. if you've never used custom molded in ears yeah. like it's and you can't hear anything it else. feels like when i put these in like yeah. as good as earplugs it yeah. does feel yeah. like you're standing in front of a yeah. sub i'm using these to mow yeah, because <laughs> it blocks out the mower. Yeah, but then I can hear the music with yeah. not out and cranking with, it. Yeah. yeah, which is kind of honestly yeah. a kind of a problem. Like yeah. stage noise, like yeah. that's that's Drums what a lot of especially. people. Yeah, you and you turn them up not because you can't hear, but because you can't hear something enough. Yeah, yeah. which is a little different, yeah. right? Yeah, like you can you can hear stuff, but you're turning up because you want to hear like one thing. Yeah, so having a good seal and a good fit is very important. Yeah. Like almost, more, I would say that should be your first step before you try to go like all in on a that. good fit. Yeah, yeah, like if you can't get a good fit, then yeah. like it doesn't matter yeah. what you have inside because that's actually what happened with my other yeah. pair of veneers. Okay, so let's talk about um, how these compare to some other things that we have tried before. First of all, I want to say we haven't done a review on these. Maybe we should. These are the KZ five drivers. I can't remember if they're the ZS tens or the A. I'm pretty sure they're the ZS I have the Z's. Tens. I think these are the Z's. These are the ones that are more colored. I'm told by the internet. <laughs> that the AS10s which are we all little, know is are a little more flat accurate, frequency accurate response. The, the so what these are, you it. know, some uh, Chinese made five driver uh, in ear monitors, not molded. You get them on Amazon for fifty bucks. Super cheap. Like, and I will say for fifty bucks, you can't beat it for 50 these bucks. things. Sound amazing. Yeah, yeah. For fifty dollars, but when you compare them. Yeah. To the fifteen hundred dollar electrodes <laughs> that I have down here, yeah. um, the first thing I noticed when I would go back and forth is the high end on these on the KZs is super harsh. Yeah, really, really bright and harsh. Like it was at the same level of volume, it was almost painful. Yeah, and it wasn't like super loud. It was just jarring between the mm -hmm. two. So these have a much more hyped low and high end, which would probably be similar to like your. Uh, spires as far Except as like the overall 
signature of sound. And there's probably a reason yeah. for that because... Like frequency range-wise. More high-end can give your ear the impression that something sounds better than it does. Yeah. So if, it, you know, and when you're listening... a little more low-end, too. Yeah, so when you're listening to music, if yeah. you boost the high-ends, it just immediately your ear thinks that it's better. Mm -hmm. But what happens over time is it just starts to feel like razor blades. Yeah, it's it was it was, it was so surprising. that's probably intentional to and improve I have the seen, quality. I have seen people again on the internet saying that they like these more than their custom molded high end in ear monitors. Depending on which ones and they have, I can possible. understand why. Yeah, because you get such a hyped high and low experience. Yeah. Like for casual listening, sure. Initially, this might might come off. It's kind of like I equate these to like when you walk into Best Buy. Yeah. Or wherever you buy a television, and all of the televisions are on the wall. Contrast. And all of them are... Brightness. They're all set... Sharpness. Yes, they're all 100. set... 100. They're all set to stun. That's what, stun. Yeah. Set that's what stun. these are yeah. to me. Yeah, and they do funny. sound like... And again, for $50, they're... Yeah. They're... I don't know how you could do better. Yeah. For 50 bucks. Yeah. Uh, but they don't really hold e even a candle to yeah. like the high end stuff. Now these are my old uh, 1964 ears. That tells you how long ago I bought them because that company doesn't have that name anymore. Uh, the V6, they? like they're just 64 uh, audio now. V6 stage, a very high end, uh, but not as high end as the. These were about half of what yeah. the electros cost. Yeah. Custom molded six driver in your monitor. I've used these and loved them for the last six years. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I compare these, first of all, they don't fit quite the same, mm -hmm. which makes sense because the audiologist told us that your ears over time change. your ears continue to grow, and the older you get, the more they grow. Yeah, so they'll loosen. So she told us that for you know if you're like below the age of forty, you know. Your your custom molded in ears will will fit for about ten years. Mm -hmm. She said once you hit forty, as you age, that that your ears grow faster. So it's like you need to have them reshelled mm -hmm. every five years or so. Yeah. And I'm you know I'm in my forties now, and these are six years old, and they're looser. Yeah. Which totally makes sense. Yeah. Because when I got them, trust me, the fit was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and these feel a little more congested. Yeah. Than the electros clarity to me less clarity yeah. they're a little they're way more heavy in the mid range yeah and uh, the ear fatigue is real on these yeah. when I listen to them just yeah. because everything feels a little more yeah. congested so the last one that I have to compare to is the Waves custom molded in ear is that monitors the one you did with your phone? this is the one I did with the phone there's the video these are new on the market hundred dollars. For custom molded, now they're not total custom molds. You can yeah. tell yeah. they have a tip on them, yeah. so they mold to the outside of the gotcha. ear, but not the canal. Yeah, because you can't. Get so it. you don't get yeah. the same kind of fit yeah. as these. These, um, if you compare them to the KZs, a lot of questions about that. Yeah. These are way warmer. Like the KZs are hyped. These, you know, I and I said in in uh, somewhere online or something, I said one person's warm is another person's dull. That's true. Right? That's true. So yeah. it just depends on what you want. Yep. Um, these are a little flatter to me. I got the dual drivers uh, than the KZs, but again, they these are not even in the same league as yeah. the sixty four yeah. and yeah. the and the and the all clairs. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think compared to other monitors you've used? Well, so tack it on to the sixty four thing. Yep, because you have sixty four too. Right? I had I bought six pair sixty fours. They were nineteen sixty four. Same call time them. that I did. Six yeah, years ago. I think I got mine, and like a couple months later, you you had gotten yours or something. I was jealous. Well, um, keeping up with the Bradses. That's right. I had to keep up with the Bradfords. <laughs> they don't. They don't call them the same thing anymore. I think they're like QIs now. And before they yeah, were called Yeah, and the tech is different too. Yeah, it is. A so the different. the monitors we have from sixty four really are know. not indicative of yeah. their current line. No, I like mine. Mm -hmm. I did, but my ears must have been in the process of shifting when I got them. However, mm -hmm. that ends up working, like my actual ears, and so mine fit a look rather loose now. 64s, my sixty yeah. fours do. And it, I've had them about six years now, mm -hmm. maybe almost seven, six and a half. So it makes sense if, you know, your ears are changing through your 20s. As I got mm -hmm. mine like early, mid, early 20s. Um, they sound great. The low end is not as good. 
Mm. Um, but so I got the quads. Fit too. Yeah, the the fit. If I push them in, I get a little more low end, mm-hmm. but they still sound good. The one thing I did notice with the KZs is I tried recording with them, mm-hmm. and they were distorting like crazy because the was lack of headroom. Very yeah. little headroom. These have a ton of headroom, so, so the, they're better, much better for tracking. It, it also goes to to show you because your KZs have more drivers than your all clears. Yeah, they have five. So I think people often assume more drivers means better. And I mentioned this in the the first video we did. It's like megapixels on a camera. Yeah. Like the iPhone has like the same megapixels as like a DSLR. The DSLR is going to take a way better photo. Not all drivers are created equal. Correct. Right. And so um, even the five driver KZs don't have near the headroom or yeah. the sound quality as your four driver studio all clears. And right? don't yours have six drivers as well? The, which ones? No, your uh, all clears don't they have six. Yeah. yeah. So Brian's all clears have six drivers. Mm-hmm. Mine has six drivers. Yeah. And they sound completely different. They sound way different. Same company. And the, the the unfortunate thing about headphones, I mean, this is what I've experienced. I just bought the Slate headphones for my studio. I tried them. I'm buying them too. They're pretty amazing. <laughs> They're pretty awesome. Um, but I've had the DT 880s. I've heard the 1770s. I mean, I've heard probably ten different sets of. Everyone sounds so different. They do. The, the unfortunate thing about in ears, you can't hear it's, it before you buy it's it. It's interesting though, because you think like the way the song sounds is the way it sounds. No. No, it sounds way different depending on totally. what you listen to it on. Yeah. So hey, let's talk about other stuff that you can get from All Clear besides monitors. Yes. They sent us some cool merch. I got, got some hats. Dope hat. And I Brad had a hair Brad today. had a pretty awesome hat. That's really cool. And uh, didn't bring it. This is like this is. Uh, he told me this is an old favorite, a classic. The, the denim? And I kind of like this thing. It's like Sham Sh- So Fuller and I are going to have to fight over these two. Brad already got his flat bill. I got my WT hat, and that thing is awesome. That's right. So well, uh, I think you those can get hats. hats. Represent the you, two can men get, who wearing them. you can get t shirts. There you go, Fuller. Oh, Looking good. good. That's the Fuller. Uh, one thing you can get with your monitors, uh, grab these, is mm-hmm. uh, you might have noticed as Brad and I have been holding these monitors up, different cables. This cable is a lot different. So with the. Electros and the Studio Series, you get their higher end cable uh, with these, and then this is the uh, the it's standard, standard cable. edition cable. Now, All Claire did say that this is actually better suited for studio, or I mean, sorry for live use. Yes, and he, they. I they, guess because of durability. They don't, or what? Yeah, they don't recommend using this, this one seems for more durable. live use. Well, it's thicker. So it's but just it might more be annoying. like up here because that the, that one has like that plastic sheath that goes uh, all yeah. the way around yeah, your ear, yeah. and this doesn't. Um, so you can get this cable. You tried out. You AB the cables. I tried the cables. And you say you hear a difference. difference. I heard a difference. So mine, again, a little more boosted, uh, lows. Mm -hmm. And, um, when I use that cable, it brought down the lows, evened out a little bit. Yeah. You said it smoothed everything out. I haven't tried my other cable yet. Maybe I'll try the other. A little smoother. So really interesting. Um, I don't, it wasn't night and day, uh, but. I could totally tell the difference, and right. I could see why you probably would want that in the studio. It'd, yeah. be, it'd make things a little smoother for listening, and since mm. you're probably wearing them in the studio for hours on end. Yeah, so. and uh, that you get a selection of cases. Uh, I think the standard case is the leather one that we got. You can get like a hard shell, like a Pelican style case as well, which I think I might actually buy from them because that's the kind of case that I like. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can get from All Clear. They even have in your vacuums, which I that's purchased. Yeah. Uh, of so. You did. Uh, cause I was, I suspected and I was right that my old 64s had like earwax up in For the, years. in the, yeah. in the ports it's just part, and I vacuumed it out with that thing. thing. Um, and so, uh, you know, that's like about $150 is what that was. Or you can get the, the. The heavy duty model, which they recommend for churches, like if you're gonna yeah for like a clean a whole of, bunch, yeah, you yeah, know, there's a sure. higher end with more power. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so All Clear has a wide variety of of uh, accessories they that are applicable a, to your in ear monitors. They even make like plugs if you do like athletic yeah. stuff. Yeah, like for like for new, if you're hunting and you want to like have you can make yeah especially for plugs, shooting stuff and like stuff. That. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna ask my audiologist to send me my mold so I could just use those to, as as <laughs> sound absorbers. Yeah. yeah, they do have it, and that's kind of a new line from them. They just put that out, that's uh, cool. like uh, you know, hearing protection basically, yeah. and they'll use your molds, and they're really affordable. And if you get yours uh, and you get them and check them out, put your comments. Uh, in this video below and get let us know. You might got different models than us or same models, maybe you have a different... It, sound is very subjective. It really is. So it'd be interesting to see what a larger group of people think about the models. 
So hey, thanks for hanging out with us. I know this was a bit more of a longer form type of video, but hey, we hope that it has been helpful for you, especially if you're ready to sort of dip your toe into the custom molded in-ear monitor world and you're, you're curious about what the options are out there for you. We hope this has helped, uh, helped you in that decision. If you have questions, let us know. I know in our last video from All Clear, All Clear was answering questions in the comments themselves. Sweet. So, um, yeah, super responsive as far as customer service. Just a great experience all around. So let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, huge thank you to All Clear yes. for one, making these incredible in your monitors and for sponsoring this series. Thanks, All Clear. Thank you for watching. Thank See you. you in the next one. Bye bye.